Hey McFly subscribers! So, today's going to be a little different of my Monday morning channel update type of video. We're in the middle of moving this week. Actually, by the time this video comes out, this will be last week. Right now is Friday, uh, so in a couple days uh, when the video comes out on Monday, you know. Um, and I, I think we're going to have to do some moving next week also. We've got to fully be out by uh, the 30th, so... That's uh, coming up soon. But this is the place, guys. So I've been making a few trips back and forth with my my car. And this is the place. It's really nice. We like it. It's older. I mean, you know, it's, it's a country house. It's older. It's not perfect. The other place was a little newer. But it didn't have what this has, um, which is, you know, land and area for us to garden and do all the things that we like doing. We're hoping at one point maybe we can get some chickens and stuff like that because that's kind of what we like to do. So I'm going to give you a, kind of the grand tour here really quick. So here we go. This is the garage and I put out some mouse traps. There's already a mouse from last night. He's still kind of kicking. we got to kind of dispatch him soon. But moved in a lot of the stuff from our garage so some camping and fishing and extra stuff we uh we have some food that we had in the garage like a pantry type thing but that we had to stick all of that upstairs because of all the mice you can see i got a poison trap a couple of the these traps here which worked and then i even got another mouse up this way in a regular type mouse trap so, you know, it happens. There are mice when you move into a, a place that hasn't been lived in for a month or two, and it's out in the country. But it's really nice. So this is the garage. This is not the house. Probably some of you were thinking, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, this is the garage, and it's huge. This is like a four-car garage, guys. So you got to realize this is the entrance here. And two cars can fit back-to-back -back here, which is kind of nice. I need to add, so I think I'm going to do my fly tying down here, just because there's only two bedrooms upstairs. Uh, where I was, it was three. So my kids both need a bedroom. Well, when it'll be both when we have another one um, coming up soon here. But, you know, so I think I'm going to stick, maybe take this thing out because it's kind of, it's falling apart. It's really bowed and whatnot. Uh, maybe take that out and put my desk right there. Uh, but I'll need to add some lights because this is just not enough, the couple that are in here. Uh, so I'll have to add some light. I can put two cars either side, two cars here on this side. Only thing is this, this is broken. This door is broken, so I can't get into that door. And this one's going to be tough to even get a car because of that is kind of in the way. And same with the um, fridge. Luckily, we have a pretty small car, and we only have one right now. So maybe I might be able to squeeze it in. We'll see. It's got a well house here, but it's not usable. Um, the city came in, from what I heard, a couple years ago and told them that they could not use the well anymore and they had to hook up to city water. And then, so this is our whole driveway and all this is ours. Uh, and it's cheaper than the place that we were at. And that one had no land. This is much better. So, and we've got this little walkway, comes up here. And I'm pretty sure all this is ours also. Up here. We've got left a little bit of trash. So I'm going to have the leasing company come in and take care of it. We've got some neighbors up there. But, and then we got a neighbor down, down there. Okay, but I think that's all ours. So I plan on putting some uh, veggies in there. So... There's the house, mostly stone, and then the top part is wood. Nice little walkway, some sort of raised beds there, I think. Probably grow some stuff. Here's the entrance. Okay. Now, I'm going to take you around the back first, because this is where this is the coolest part. It's got this. So this is the backyard back entrance from the um, kitchen there. It's got a compost bin. It's got 
I mean, this is awesome. So I've actually got a little bit of wood right now left over, but a little seating area for like a little barbecue pit thing here. And it's just really, really nice. Probably have to clear that out a little bit, but pretty cool. So I really like that. Got a nice little fence backyard area for my kid to play. And if we ever do get another dog, um, obviously they had some before we're allowed to. So we can put our dog back there, let him play in the fenced area. Let me go around to the front because that's not open right now. Now there's a lot of bugs because that hasn't been lived in for a while. They said that they fumigated, but there's still a lot of live ones running around. Just killed that one. Um, but that's okay. So you can see, I mean, it is older. It's not huge, but this is a living room. Okay. There's the kitchen. I've got to unpack. And we're just kind of stacking stuff up here. We haven't seen any rat poops up here. So that's good. They're not in the house. They're just in the garage. So no big deal. This is, you know, the kitchen. And there's that door to the backyard there. But not bad. This is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's older. You know, it's not new like the other one. But that's okay. We don't mind old. You know, I mean, there's... It's not perfectly painted, but... You know, that's good. That means when we move out, we're not going to have to really do that much. Alright. You know, these are old windows. This one actually is broken. It doesn't work. It doesn't go... It goes out, but it doesn't come back in without someone going on the outside and pushing in while you, while you turn it. So that's kind of annoying. But the other ones work. This one's missing. you got to use a wrench. So this one's missing the thing. So we'll have them kind of fix that. Hopefully they will. Okay. So there's kid's bedroom. Not huge, but bigger than what he's got right now, for sure. A little closet. This heater. Uh, bathroom. Pretty Pretty big bathroom, quite large. Really nice uh, washer and dryer that comes with it. That's pretty cool. And then it's got this nice little storage area for like rooms and whatnot. And then this is our bedroom, which is really cool. So what we figured is this right there, just the bedroom, this, you can see this door is kind of like a front door type of thing. It's really heavy duty. This was the cabin, I think. And then all this was added on later. So I think what this was was like a little hunting cabin back before, you know, this was built in, the, in 57, I think. You know, the floor is kind of squeaky, but whatever. Um, but look at this. Cool fireplace right in the bedroom. Wood fireplace. That's really nice. We love that. Really cool woodwork, just awesome. I like it, I think it's really cool. It's got a nice view to the backyard, so in fact, if I put like a little desk here, I could actually do some fly tying, maybe right here, and I could look out and watch Eli play in the backyard. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so there it is. There's our new place, guys. Again, we're downsizing to a two bedroom versus a three but I do have that extra room in the garage to store all my fly tying stuff and maybe put a bigger desk down there for my main fly tying. But if, uh, if I'm watching Eli alone and I want to tie a few flies while I'm doing it, maybe I can put a little desk in the, in the bedroom uh, just for quick, simple little ties, you know. Uh, but there we go. We like it guys, we're excited about this place. It's got a lot of land, um, a lot more than I even showed you. It goes back uh, quite a ways. Now that's technically an extra lot, but it is part of this house. So they're trying to sell that lot and they told us we're allowed to use it. I don't know what we'd use it for, but we're allowed to until it sells. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so, is it.
guys is it. So we're really excited about, about this place and you know we've got we had to buy a few blinds because not all the, the windows have blinds so we, we did, actually didn't buy them we already had some so we've got them right here. So we're gonna hang those up. Uh, we already had some and I think they'll fit. So there we go. So that's what I've been doing this week. Sorry there's not a whole lot having to do with fishing. I'm just busy unpacking and uh, we got the keys yesterday, so Thursday, and we made like seven trips in our car, just bringing odds and ends of small stuff. Uh, completely gutted the garage um, of our old place and brought that all that. So I just need to get, the last thing I have to get for my garage is the, is the shelving and then I, th I have a car carrier, like the, the, the top part. I just need to do that. So, you know, everything's going really good, guys. Um, I'll be able to get back to fishing and, and tying flies and whatnot, hopefully soon. So, luckily I do have quite a few flies coming up. And, hey, guys, coming up is, I know a lot of you jokingly had said, tie a uh, fly with your beard hair. So i got a fly coming up this week, I believe it's coming up. Check that out. It's pretty funny. Um, and I actually did go out and catch fish with it. So um, you'll see me catch a fish and tie a fly with my beard hair. So that'll be fun, guys. Check that out this, uh, uh, this coming Friday. I think it's this Friday. And other than that, that's pretty much it for the week for me. It's just been moving. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section, and I will try to do my best to return those questions as soon as possible. Again, I'm in the middle of a move. I can't promise it'll be right away. Um, and even, even from this point on, I'm getting about, just so you guys know, I'm getting about, about anywhere from 50 to 150 comments a day. And I'm doing my very best to comment on every single person's comment, um, or re-comment, re so like, you know, reply. Uh, but I, sometimes I might be missing it, okay? So if I miss any of your comments, I, ap I apologize. It just is getting to the point where it's almost a full-time job to comment back. But I'm doing my best. I'm really doing my best on it. I'm trying to comment on as many people's comments as possible, okay? Um, but this week is special with the move. So just, just know that if I don't, I'll try to respond, okay? And I, I'll, I'll do my best, and I probably will be able to respond to most people's comments. But if I miss yours... Please don't take offense. It's not that I don't, you know, want to comment to you necessarily. It's just I might have just missed it, okay? Um, when you get, you know, get back home at night and there's 100 comments, sometimes you miss a couple going down. So, um, but anyway, guys, um, check out the description section. I always have more info on all my videos in the description section. Always check that out. Um, while you're watching the video, just scroll down right down below. Click that little arrow down and it'll, it'll show you more info on the description but always got a lot of info, okay? Um, and sometimes it's just updates of what's going on. So for instance, today, if there's an update, if something happens, like we find out the fridge is broken or whatever, I can, I can put that in the description section instead of having to make another video and just kind of let you guys know, okay? Um, so check that out. Um, now you guys, it's your turn to go catch some fish. I will see you guys on the next video.